Hello, hello dear viewers, welcome to our channel, it's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at arcing at the contact point when the capacitor is disconnected and with the capacitor connected. Now, let's begin by disconnecting the capacitor. Here you can see the, capa the capacitor is disconnected from the ground line. It was supposed to be connected here. This is a line coming from the ignition coil negative and going to the contact point. Now, let's power it up and see the spark at the contact point. Now let's power it up and connect it and see. Turning it on. Lots of spark at the contact point. Lots of spark at the contact point. And if you see the spark that is coming out at the spark plug, weak spark. See? Very weak spark. But Lots of spark at the capacitor at the contact point. Now let's connect this and have a look. See the difference? Now capacitor is connected. Very small arcing. So capacitor connection is very crucial, guys, for the long service of your contact point and in order to generate strong spark. Have a look at the spark now. Comparatively, we have a strong spark. So the capacitors, they will receive that self-induced voltage on the primary and they ensure primary current is disconnected as soon as possible. By ensuring that, they can maximize the secondary. See how strong spark is being produced. Very strong spark. So dear viewers, make sure that the capacitor is working nicely and great, nicely connected. Let's have a look at once again. Let me disconnect the capacitor and see the difference. Look. Let me put it back. See the difference? Tremendous difference between capacitor connected and disconnected now let's compare the spark with the capacitor disconnected now this is the spark with the capacitor disconnected let's connect it See, now relatively strong spark is being produced. I don't know if it is visible. When it is disconnected, very weak spark. When it is connected, strong spark. Strong spark when capacitor is connected. Let me disconnect it once more. See, very weak spark when capacitor is disconnected. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this presentation. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Have a nice time.